The next step in the mail merge is to open up Microsoft Word. In this example, we're going to be working on a form letter that we want to send out to students. So here I have the text of the letter that I want to send to each student. I'm going to begin by going to the Tools menu and choosing Mail Merge Manager. And this Mail Merge Manager panel pops up and this is where we're going to create our mail merge. So here in this top section, I'm going to choose Create New and then Form Letters. Select Recipients List. This is where we tell it what spreadsheet contains the data that we want to merge with. I'll say Get List and then Open Data Source. As you can see, there are some other options here for where you can get your data from. FileMaker, Microsoft Office Address Book, um, you can even manually enter in a new data source. But if you're using an existing spreadsheet, open data source is what we want. Now I can browse through and find my spreadsheet wherever it is on my computer and say open. You might get this little message, just click OK. If your Excel file contains multiple spreadsheets or worksheets, it's going to ask you which one you want to use in the mail merge. In this case, we're going to use a worksheet called Students. And once the file loads, we can look in this section here and see that it's loaded the fields from our spreadsheet. Each one of these fields represents one of the columns from our spreadsheet. And these field names match what we had for our column headers. So let's say that the first thing we want to do is create an address block here with the person's name and address. I'm going to start with the first name. I'm just going to click, hold, and drag this first name field over. And you'll see that it puts in this field placeholder. I'm going to drag last name over now, but if I want a space between the first and the last name, which I do, I have to type it myself. So I'm going to type a space. And then I can take the last name field, click, hold, and drag it over. Now if I want a return, before I put in the street address, I type a return. Now I can drag the address over. And the city. I want a comma after city and a space before I put the state. A space and then drag the zip code. And so now you see we have our address block set up with all the placeholders for each field. If you ever want to get rid of one of these placeholders, you can just delete it. If I want to delete this zip code, for example, I can just hit the delete button a couple times and it'll disappear. You can also format how you want the text to look. If I highlight these fields and change the formatting a little bit, it's going to change the formatting of the person's name and address when it appears in the letter. I can preview what this name and address block is actually going to look like. Here in the Mail Merge Manager, I have a preview results section. I can click this little preview button. Here's one of the people in my spreadsheet. And I can click this next record if I want to see what a few different records are going to look like. And if I want, I can leave this preview on while I'm working to give me a better idea of what the finished product is going to look like. Let's say I want to put in the person's first name here in the salutation line. I'll grab that and bring it down. You can type a comma. And we can even put something specific in the body of the letter. Let's say we want to put what dorm the student is living in. Right here, your dorm assignment for 2011 is. I can go over here to the dorm field. We had a dorm column in our spreadsheet. And just drag over the dorm field. And there it is. Same thing here. If I want to add another sentence that's specific to where they're living, I can put that in. So if our letter looks good, we're ready to complete the merge. We'll go over here to the Complete Merge section, and we've got a couple different options. We can merge these letters straight to a printer, which means it'll just automatically print out all the different form letters for us. I would only do this if you're feeling really brave. The safer thing to do is to merge it to a new document, and then you can preview before you print.
Merging to email is possible, but since this is a more complex process, we suggest you just call the help desk and they can help you through it. So I'm going to say merge to new document. And what it's going to do is it's going to take all those letters and give me letters for each person, one after another. It automatically puts a page break after each letter. So if these look good, I can send this document to my printer print it on letterhead, whatever I need to do. And I can also save it if I want to keep these for any reason. This document that it just created is an independent document that I can go in and edit and make changes to if I need to. And it's just flat data. This document isn't tied to the mail merge in any way now. It's its own thing. So if I want to, I can save this one. And the other thing I might want to do is I'm going to go back to my template document where I created the merge. And if I think I'm ever going to send this letter again, I might want to save this template. And it's going to make sense to do a save as and name it something like letter to students mail merge template, something like that, so I know what it is. And that way if I ever need to send this letter again, I can just open up this merge template. If I need to, I can choose a new data source, maybe from an updated spreadsheet, and I will save myself a little bit of work the next time around.